First, find the LCD. Second, make the given fraction similar using the DMP technique or divide, multiply, and put technique. Last, apply the rules on how to subtract similar fractions. For example, we will subtract a whole number in a fraction. 15 minus 3 and 5 sevenths. The first thing that we need to do is to regroup the whole number. So how will we regroup, regroup it? Make sure we will come up with a whole number and another fraction. Okay, we will come up with a whole number and another fraction. So I will regroup 15. I'll, I will deduct 1 to it, so I will be left with just 14. And the other one, I'll make it a fraction with a numerator and denominator of the same number in the given second fraction. I will have there 7 over 7. The question is, why did I make use of 7 over 7? Why not make use of 8 over 8, um, 9 over 9? Because of this one. So as you can see in the denominator here, that's 7. So I will make a fraction that is equal to 1 with the same number as used in the second fraction. So that's why we have 7 over 7. Next, the first whole number given is now equal to 14 and 7 over 7. So we can say that 15 is equivalent to that mixed number, 14 and 7 over 7. Next, minus 3 and 5 over 7. 14 minus 3 is equal to 11. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And then over 7. Final answer is 11 and 2 over 7. Next. But if we have 22 minus 7 and 8 over 9, so the same thing, we have to regroup the whole number. I'll deduct 1 from it, it will become 21, and then the remaining 1, I will make a fraction that is equal to 1. But I will make use of the denominator 9 in the second given, so I will have there 9 over 9. So 22 is actually equal to 29 and 9 over 9, okay? Minus 7 and 8 ninths. So now, let's subtract the whole numbers. 21 minus 7 is 14, and 9 minus 8 is 1, and then over 9. So final answer is 14 and 1 over 9. Next, let's subtract mix and a fraction. So I have here 2 and 1 fifth minus 2 thirds. So I'll find the LCD. LCD is 15. So just like what I said before, don't mind yet the whole number. Okay, and then you may apply now the DMP technique. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. And then put 3 there. Okay, so you will have there 2 and 3 fifteenths. Next, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And then put 10 there. So as you can see, we cannot subtract the numerators because the first given is lesser than the second given. So minus 10 it cannot be. So this is where regrouping applies. So look, how do we regroup? Regroup the whole number again. So this two will become one. Okay? And then you have to make the other one a fraction. And we will make use of 15 over 15. So as you can see, we have the same denominators already. So we will make use of that denominator as our number in the numerator and the denominator of the equivalent fraction of 1. So here, we have here 1 and 18 over 15. So we can see that 2 and 3 fifteenths is also equivalent to 1 and 18 over 15. Then minus 10 over 15, we will come up with 1 and 8 over 15. How about this one? 3 and 1, 7 minus 2 and 2 fifths. The same thing, we will find the LCD. So we will have 35. And just like what I said again a while ago, we can just copy the whole numbers because we will not um, use it yet. So 35 divided by 7 in applying DMP, that will give us 5. Seven ta uh, 5 times 1, it will give us 5. And then put 5 there. Next, 35 divided by 5, that's 7. 7 times 2 is 14, then I'll put 14 there. Okay, so you can see we can still not proceed because 5 and 14 cannot be subtracted. Okay, so how will we do that? Again, we can regroup the whole number 3. 3 will become 2 and then the other one will become a fraction that is equal to 35 over 35. So 
3 and 3, 5, 3 and 5 over 35 can be uh, so 3 and 5 over 35 is equivalent to 2 and 40 over 35. Now subtract the 2 and 14 fifths, you will have 26 over 35. So that's it. So last one, so easy, find the LCD. We'll have 8 and put 5 and 1 for the whole number. 8 divided by 8 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, and put 3 there. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and then put 6 there. Okay, so as you can see, we can still not subtract 3 and 6 because 3 is smaller than 6. So how can we do this? We can group the whole number again, 5 will become 4, and then the other one will become a fraction, and that is 8 over 8. So I can have here 4 and 11 over 8, minus 1 and 6 8. So it will give us 4 minus 1, 3. 11 minus 6, 5 over 8. So 3 and 5 over 8. So that is the answer. So how do we subtract the similar fractions with regrouping? First, find the least common denominator. Second, find, make the given fraction similar using the PMP technique. And the last one is to apply the rules and how to subtract similar fractions. Magdali, di ba? Magdali lang naman magtutunan. Share mo to sa iba para may magtutunan din sila. Like, comment, and subscribe.